This is my Galaxy S24 Ultra and that's my shield hooked to a portable monitor. And yes, I'm mirroring the shield straight to my phone. Stick around to see how it's done and what other functions are possible. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will show you how to use your phone to connect to your shield through ADB and perform some cool tricks including reverse screen mirroring. We are going to use an app called Bug Jagger that I found on the Play Store. I prefer this app to others because it allows screen mirroring on the free version and supports fast boot commands when connected to the shield using a cable. I will demonstrate wired connection later in the video. For now, let's start with the easy wireless connection. After downloading, open the Bug Jagger app and accept the long list of terms and conditions. I feel this is necessary as the app is capable of performing ADB and fastboot functions which when not used right can actually break your shield. Once in the app, you will note that there are several tabs, each with different functions. Before we proceed, we will need to enable USB and wireless debugging on the shield. These settings are available under developer options. If you don't have developer options enabled, activate it by going to settings, device preferences, about and tap build number 7 times. If you then navigate a step backward, you will now find developer options at the bottom of the list. Under developer options, find and toggle on USB debugging and network or wireless debugging. Under network debugging, you will see an IP address and a port number. Take note of this as we will use them for the next step. Moving back to the phone, ensure that it is connected to the same Wi-Fi as your shield and then at the top right of the screen, click the plug icon with a plus sign next to it, input the IP address of your shield and click connect. A pop-up will now appear on your shield TV. Select always allow from this computer and click allow. Your shield is now connected to the app. Under the screen cap tab, tapping the video icon on the top right initiates screen mirroring. You can not only view the shield display but also interact with it using touch. You will need a paid version of the app to actually record on your phone and use the virtual remote accessible through the keyboard icon on the top left of the screen. Another useful feature is the Packages tab, which allows you to install, uninstall, enable or disable apps on the Shield. Since this feature gives access to system apps as well, you need to be sure of what you uninstall or disable to avoid breaking your Shield. As you can see, Side loading is as easy as selecting an APK from the phone and pushing it directly to the Shield TV. There are many options to explore in the app, but the other thing I want to show you is this fast boot section. Yes, the app can not only send a command to boot the Shield in bootloader mode, but also perform fast boot functions like flashing of images. However, when the shield is in fast boot mode, communication with the phone is only possible via wired connection. The existing wireless connection can only send the shield to fast boot or bootloader mode and that's it. Before we try the wired connection, if you are enjoying the video, please consider liking and subscribing to help me get to the 1000 sub milestone. I appreciate you guys. I have this DIY mail to mail USB cable and a USB-C OTG adapter to enable me connect my phone to the 2019 Shield Pro. Note that for fast boot functions, you need to connect the cable to the USB port farthest from the HDMI port. After connecting the cable, a pop-up will then appear asking you to allow the Bug Jagger app to access the USB device. Cable connection is superior in that it allows you to send fast boot commands to the shield when in bootloader mode. For illustration, if I select reboot bootloader, the shield will reboot and go into bootloader mode. Another pop-up will then appear asking you to allow the app to access the fast boot device which is our shield. Since this is just an illustration, I am not planning to tinker with flashing. So, the command fast boot reboot will restart the shield to normal mode. That's it guys, you can do a lot of things with this app including flashing of ROMs as it works for all connected Android devices. In this YouTube video for example, the Bug Jagger app has been used to flash a custom ROM to another Android phone without using a PC. 
Share in the comments how you will use the functions in the app or if there's a better app than this. As always, I appreciate you for watching and if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Cheers!